Instead, he works his way back free. Ramlin fires, scores! Hello and welcome to the Puck Drops Here podcast. I am your host, John Crawford, along with my brother Howie. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> Here for episode number eighteen of season four. How we and doing? A, what? A, and a huge episode. Yes, huge. Well, today is the day we make the big announcement of who wins. Right. The NHL celebrity battle to be, or what is it? No, NHL celebrity <laughs> coach Ooh. for the All Star game. <laughs> for the final, right? Because we, we we were texting this morning, and you go, oh, there's four teams. Yeah, I forgot they're doing four teams, but <laughs> they're only going to be coaching in the championship game. Oh, good. <laughs> I had a quick conference call with the uh, NHL. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so how was your week, Howie? I hadn't really talked to you this week. Uh, uh, this work. Work. It, Tired, extraordinarily tired, and uh, right. yeah. but I got a three-day weekend. Nice, very good. Those are well, always good to have. Kind of like a three-day weekend. Oh, is that because of the holiday? Yeah, yeah. I only have to work one job for the three days, so. Oh, well, that's like <laughs> a holiday. It's kind of like a three-day, oh, yeah. three-day weekend. <laughs> right. So. Uh, you had purchased about a week ago now the Google Home, and I mean, how yes. is, have you taught it how to clap to use the clapper? Uh, no, I have to clap. I got my uh, <laughs> I had construction workers and all come in here <laughs> get my clapper installed and okay. stuff. So that's all set. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, the light came on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's still working out the kinks. <laughs> oh, there it goes, okay. yeah. <laughs> Actually, the lighting was better when you had it on. Oh. <laughs> there, okay. there, that works a little better. <laughs> Uh, and, and well, but yeah, I, pur- I purchased the uh, Google Home, so it's still kind of I'm still trying to figure it out myself. So yeah, <laughs> well, uh, not much has been going on on this home front. I but it, but it, it is uh, full of valuable information, such as uh, Hey Google, who is the six million dollar man? I don't know if you could hear it. Barely. Hey, Google, volume up 50%. Hey, Google, who is Steve Austin? According to Wikipedia, Steve 
Boston, better known by the race name D. Boston, is an American actor, media personality, producer, and retired professional wrestler who is... Oh, that's the wrestler. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So she was wrong. <laughs> well, that, that, well, that's Steve Austin. If you oh. ask it, a $6 million man, it'll say an astronaut. Oh, oh, I got you. <laughs> hey, hey, Google, who was the $6 million man? Here's some information about the $6 million man. Steve Austin is an astronaut who is seriously injured when his spaceship crashes. Mm-hmm. See? <laughs> yeah. Pretty Google smart. knows. Google knows. <laughs> Knows that important information. <laughs> right. Right. Well, we'll have to uh, use. Uh, maybe we right. should use Google as chart. Hey, chart. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, Google. Who's Jerry Corab? According to Wikipedia, Gerald Joseph Corb is a retired Canadian professional hockey player who was a defenseman in the National Hockey League from 1971 to 1985. Nice. Nice. We're gonna have to use that. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you'll have yeah. to get the volume up a little more. When yeah, I gotta turn up. Yeah, it's not all the way up. So. Okay, so yeah, that'll be nice. Um, I, don't, I think. Hey, Google, volume up to eleven. Now it's at full. Okay. All right, so uh, let's move on into our hockey news, Howie. We've got a, a couple things. First of all, um, congrats to Martin Saint-Louis, who had his number retired. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, another congrats goes out to uh, Alexander Ovechkin for his 1,000th point. Uh, last Wednesday, and it was against yep. Pittsburgh of all played teams. You know the the rivalry yep. between those two. So. Yeah. Uh, so that was kind of fitting. And uh, then you had you had something. You uh, had... mine. Yeah, mine was uh, congrats. I guess and happy anniversary to uh, Charlie Simmer, Marcel Dion, and Dave Taylor. For yesterday was the anniversary for the formation of the. Uh, triple crown line yes. for the last games. And I wonder, hey Google, who was the triple crown line? According to Wikipedia, the triple crown line, Los Angeles Kings, Dave Taylor, Charlie Simmer, and Marcel Dion, a reference to the Kings logo, which features a crown. This was the first line in NHL history where each player scored 100 points or more in the same season. There you go. I like this. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to work out great. It's going to work out great. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. What else? We also had a, a, a couple trades already happen, Howie. Yeah. Um, of course, the Kings were not involved. <laughs> so they did not get a new goaltender yet. Yeah. Well, I heard, I heard rumor has it that possibly, but it's going to add a big cap, uh, Marc-Andre Fleury could be on the block. I heard that also, but that's a that's a, a, pr- that's big, a big price yeah, tag. Uh, yeah, it's a big price tag. Yeah. Uh, but the, what we did see this week, we had uh, Cody McLeod from Colorado go over to Nashville for uh, Felix uh, Gerard. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of an even trade. I don't know if either one came out any better on that one. Um, but the big one I thought was um, Enroth going from Toronto over to Anaheim yeah. for a seventh round pick. So, I would agree. Yeah. So um, <coughs> that I thought that was big. Other than that, I don't have anything else, Howie, do you? Uh, no, the only other, uh, I guess, mentionable thing was uh, there was, I guess, a slight emergency situation this week with the oh. Dallas Stars where uh, mm-hmm. they were departing from St. Louis to L.A., but 
just after takeoff, they had to turn around and uh, do an emergency landing due to smoke filling the cockpit. The cockpit. Uh, they ended up just uh, boarding another plane and flying out to L.A., but there was no fire or anything like that, but some electrical issue. Yeah, so that's good news. Good yeah. news. Not, nobody hurt, nothing. So. I always, I, you know, I... I always wonder how you know how is that situation. I don't, I don't really want to even talk about it, but how is that situation going to be handled? Uh, I mean, it happened. It happened in the KHL, right? Several years ago. Well, hopefully that never happens. Um, yes, I just can't I, imagine. So, let's move into the standings. Because we've All got right. uh, we've got some big stuff happening after this. Uh, in the East, starting in the Atlantic Division, topping the division with fifty eight points is Montreal, followed by Boston with forty nine. Closely behind them is Ottawa with forty eight. Maple Leafs with forty six and Panthers with forty six. Maple Leafs have, you know, they're looking good, Howie. Maple yeah. Leafs are playing really well right now, and they're playing well on the road. And they they've got a uh, positive on the goal differential, which yeah. is yep. Yeah, they're they're starting to look a lot better. Uh, then we have Tampa Bay um, with forty four points, followed by Buffalo with forty one, and look who's in the cellar, Howie. Detroit is Detroit. in the yeah. cellar. It's still, I mean, that whole 40 division, points. pretty much two, two through the cellar, is still pretty tight. Yeah. But when was the last time you saw Detroit down there? 1970s. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So, there you go. That's the Atlantic. Uh, moving over to the Metropolitan, still on top, the uh, the awe-surprising Columbus Blue Jackets with uh, 62 points. They've been struggling the last few games. Yeah, but they just won the other night. Yeah, uh, followed by Washington with 61 points. And an eight-game winning streak. Yeah, and... Uh, Pittsburgh and New York both tied for third with 57 points, mm. followed by Philadelphia with 50, Carolina with 47, New Jersey with 43, and the Islanders still occupying that cellar there in the Metro with 40. All right. So it's pretty tight, but... Uh, all right. So in the Central, uh, Chicago topping the division with 59 points. But here come the Wild. They're, now, they're starting their new winning streak. They've got two going now. Yeah, and we still got, we got, we got five games on hand on top of Chicago. And that, that's, that's just nuts. They're, it's nuts. They're playing really great. And look at their uh, goal differential. Yeah, Crazy. St. Louis, who's been struggling as of late, at least this week, um, with 47 points. Uh, the Preds, um, who has been playing better this week with 45 points. Uh, Dallas with 44. Winnipeg with 43. And the Avs way down in the cellar with 27. That'll be, be a uh, big game later this week. With Minnesota because they they'll be playing in Chicago this week, mm -hmm. so that'll be good. Yeah. Uh, moving over to the Pacific, on top we have the Anaheim Ducks with fifty four points, followed by the San Jose Sharks with fifty two points, closely trailed by the Edmonton Oilers with fifty one points who are followed by Calgary with 48, the Kings with 46. This is all just really tight stuff in the yeah. Pacific. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, Kings with 46 points. Vancouver with 45 points. And continuing to look up as their logo depicts, the Arizona Coyotes with 32. Yeah. Still better than the Avs, though. Yeah. So, that's very true. The Avs are struggling, man. That's very true. Yeah. So that's the standings as of today. And uh, as we near the halfway point, uh, well, we're pretty much at the halfway point now. Yeah. Uh, so uh, just some notable dates. We do have the All-Star Weekend coming on the 27th, which is just a couple weeks from now. Uh, yep. And then on February 25th, which is a Wednesday, I believe, isn't it? February 25th is a Wednesday. We have a stadium series game with Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. And then the trade deadline on the 28th. So uh, we should start seeing uh, some movement. If it's going to happen, it's going to start happening real soon here. Which should be interesting this year only because uh, what's got to be part of the considerations with making moves is the expansion draft as well. Right. Exactly. So there's a lot of uh, tinkering and thinking that's going to have to go behind these trades. Right, because some of the trades will be to protect other players. Right. Right. From that. So it'll be, it'll be, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see right. who does Right, it will be. So now we move into our segment we've all just been waiting for and can't wait for and, it to end. And, 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 and as a side note, uh, th- this episode right now, from, from my understanding, uh, there are uh, live listening parties going on right now to the podcast. <laughs> oh. Just waiting for this segment. Dude. Waiting for this. So this is for them. Yeah, this podcast is being broadcast live to certain little... I guess they're having uh, NHL celebrity coach parties. Wow. Waiting to see who wins. So nice. It'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I have very reliable resources to <laughs> that are telling me apparently the, uh, the, the bikers for Trump who are on their way to D.C. right now, done their uh, same to uh, support the uh, NHL to get yeah. our <laughs> yeah. coaches in there demanding the NHL that, hey, we these are the celebrities we, we want. So yeah. hopefully the NHL will listen and <laughs> and and two with with this because uh it was <laughs> just forgotten apparently that there's actually four teams in the All Star game. Yep. So the two winners of the uh, NHL Celebrity Coaches Contest, <laughs> or what do you want to call it, will only be coaching the championship game. Mm. So, it, uh, so even when going to the game. It's just going to be just intense waiting for them to make their appearance. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. Here we go. So that, that's where that sits. So. All right. And, uh, and this, the, this was the week I was really hoping we were going to break a thousand. We did not break a thousand. Um, hold on. Hold on. Let me get into it here. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Okay. Here it is. The final week. The final day to find out who goes on to be the NHL All Star Celebrity Cool. All right. Let's <laughs> leave it. I'm so glad this is at the end. I'm just so glad. <laughs> 
Well, so we'll, until next year, when we figure out what we're going to do. Right, okay, yeah. we got a whole year to figure it out. Okay. So we had a total of 925 votes. Oh, we're close. We were close. We didn't quite get there, but... And, and again, the thing, when all this first started... Yeah. We only had like 60 some odd votes. Yeah. <laughs> so we, had, we ended up with 925 votes. So thank you to, to everyone who did vote. Yeah, thanks. And participated. In, and uh, I, I urge everyone now to uh, bombard the NHL demanding that whoever <laughs> the two winners are, that they be selected as celebrity coaches. Yeah. Because we really want these these ones to be in there. I mean, this was two months of hard work. Yeah, <laughs> for me. <laughs> yeah, it was. Well, for me too, trying to find the right picture to, to, uh, yeah, to yeah. <laughs> submit. <Yeah. laughs> All right. So, so who who were our celebrities once again? Okay, so our celebrities w- this week is our William Shatner. Henry Winkler, Adam West, and Richard Simmons. We brought back Adam West and Richard Simmons because they That's had right. the best the most. percentage yes. in the votes. Wow. So we brought them back for the final. Wow. So I'm, here, <clears throat> I'm excited. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> the first one leaving. With only 7% of the vote. Wow. Okay. Richard Simmons. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You sound disappointed. <laughs> I'm just surprised he was that low. Oh, yeah. But I, yeah. I mean, looking at who else is in there, I mean. Right. Yeah, I know. It's tough. So the overall winner, and I think we all know who it is. With forty six percent of the vote. Wow. <laughs> yeah. The captain, William Shatner. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. William Shatner. So he's yeah. our number one vote getter. Yeah, he pretty did. much led this thing from day one. Oh yeah. <laughs> when he came in, it was it was pretty much set. He was gonna be it. So he's in as one of the celebrity coaches. So that leaves us with Henry Winkler and Adam West. Wow. Batman and the Fonz. Yeah. Batman versus the Fonz. Okay. The winner had 34% of the vote. So the loser only had 13% of the vote. Ooh. Okay. So it was pretty cut and dry. So the next celebrity coach to coach in the championship game, (laughs) we would like to see. Doesn't mean it's really going to happen, but... No, we will see them. Oh, okay. (laughs) Even if we have to paste their pictures onto our TV screens. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) Joining William Shatner behind the bench is... Hey, the fun! The fun. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> so William Shatner and Henry Winkler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our celebrity cat, cat or coaches. There it is. And what was? Wow! <laughs> this. Oh, I gotta send this to you. This was just sent to me by a a very reliable source to oh, me. Okay. Uh, apparently, this is going to be running in the uh, front pages of all the newspapers. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I know because the way the media has been as of lately, and now there's this whole thing with fake news going on. But I can uh, tell you, this this is legit. <laughs> This is a picture that was just sent to me. Mm-hmm. I just sent it to you. Oh. Uh, this is from one of the uh, listening parties, apparently. 
Uh, looks like this was the crowd, apparently, for William <laughs> Shatner. <laughs> Celebrating William Shatner's victory. <laughs> Celebrate William Shatner. Look at all the people. <laughs> this, this is going to be in newspapers across America <laughs> and Canada tomorrow morning. <laughs> so, here it is. You'll see it here first. <laughs> We'll post this up on uh, our website yeah, as well. There we go. <laughs> See what you was sent over to me from a very reliable source <laughs> in the a national media. Thousands of Trekkies. What? <laughs> Thousands of Trekkies celebrate William <laughs> Yeah, they're 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 ecstatic. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, oh that's well, good. Have it. <laughs> the winners. So, for this year's All Star Game, we have William Shatner. Congratulations. <laughs> And Henry Winslow, the Fonz, congratulations. You two will be the celebrity coaches at this year's NHL All-Star Game in Los Angeles. See you there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what would be really awesome is if we really did see Done. them there. <laughs> Done. <laughs> So now I just uh, I'm gonna have to send a tweet out to the NHL, let them know who the winners <laughs> were, and uh, start that push to yes, get them in there. Push. Oh man, I haven't heard anything really about celebrity coaches this year. Have you? No, I think well, no, because they've been waiting for this. Oh, they've been waiting for this. <laughs> so I think probably later this week we <laughs> finally announced that. Oh, you know, William man. Shatner and, and Henry Winkler will be yeah. celebrity coaches. Yeah, that would be awesome. So man. NHL should announce that this week. Yeah. <laughs> be awesome. From a very reliable source. Yeah. <laughs> that I that I have. It's yeah. not fake news. <laughs> it's not fake news. All right. Gosh, I'm sure it? CNN will break first. Yeah, CNN <laughs> will break first. <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap it up here. <laughs> oh, thank you all for listening and watching the podcast. <laughs> uh, go out to our website at www.pucktropshere.com. Go over to our podcast page and, and listen to see and listen to our past episodes along with our current one right here. Um, also, we are um, on Twitter. Send us a like on Facebook. We're on Instagram and Pinterest. You can send us an email at John and Howie at PuckDropsHere.com. We're also on Hockey Talk Radio late at night. Uh, the first and only... 24-7 Hockey Talk radio station in the world. So check it out. Uh, anything else, Howie, before we go? Um, um, not just a uh, thank you to, uh, again, to uh, everyone that participated in this grueling two months of uh, voting. Getting uh, these celebrities in there and uh, we will notify William Shatner and Henry Winkler uh, <laughs> of their victories as they continue to celebrate. Uh, I'm not sure where that photo was taken. Uh, <laughs> getting you on through through the day celebrating William Shatner's victory. Wow. Thank you to everyone who participated and uh, continue uh, listening. And uh, we'll have. Uh, more little uh, 
activities like this hopefully later on yeah in the meantime we do have the all-star game coming up along with uh, the trade deadline and a stadium series game we'll catch you all next week uh i guess a lot of us have monday off for yes. uh, a holiday martin luther king day um we'll see you all next week we bid you all uh adieu adieu didn't go. <laughs>